All right, in this second video, Mikhail Fyodor will take us through a demo of how easy it is to deploy this template-based project for a WAF deployment in AWS Cloud. Mikhail, take it away. Very good. Uh, yeah, here on my screen, I have uh, the first page of the wizard opened up and let us count clicks, how many clicks it takes to deploy the entire WAF solution to the public cloud. So click number one, I click next, then it asks me for the few optional parameters that, that I can leave as is. Next, a uh, few more options that are EWS related. One more next, it's click number three, that click three. number four, yep. and click number five. So it took five clicks in order to start WAV deployment. Then everything goes automatically. And in a 10 minutes, when all resources are created, you can start to use a WAF. Awesome. So just five clicks and 10 minutes later, I have my own WAF. That's nice. Yeah, exactly. After all resources are created, uh, we can go ahead and open up our WAF instance via load balancer URL that stands in front. Yeah, by default, it responds with, with a static page. And now I'm going to go ahead and configure it to forward traffic to my application and secure it on the fly. As I explained in the previous video, template also configures a code commit git repository that contains all the configuration for Nginx and AppProtect. Here it is. Uh, there is a file structure that has uh, directories for Nginx and AppProtect uh, configuration files, respectively. So what I should do, I should open Nginx configuration files and add one more uh, virtual server definition to nginx.conf uh, directory. I will not do it right now. Uh, there is one already created. And the reason for that is that pipeline that actually delivers this configuration to all data plane instances takes about uh, slightly more than five minutes. So the pipeline looks like that. So it checks out the code and uh, puts it to all the virtual machines. And once pipeline completes, all the configuration is available and picked up by Nginx instances. And now my application is available through the VAR. Okay, so that essentially means like by default, the Nginx it has a default screen. You go into the uh, code commit repository, which is deployed within that. You make just a quick change and code commit automatically picks up the change um, to point now the traffic from your app to hit Nginx app protect first. That's pretty cool. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so configuration just automatically gets to data plane instances, uh, regardless of uh, the amount. So once uh, once uh, my buff uh, forwards traffic to my application, uh, we can make sure that it actually blocks some requests. For example, if I send one SQL injection attack, this kind of request will be blocked. And the third part of the project, uh, it's a dashboard. On this dashboard, uh, WAF user can see uh, the system status and security insights. This dashboard also deployed by a template and I can simply open it in CloudWatch AWS service. Nice. Dashboard looks like this one. It contains uh, the basic information about uh, data plane instances and security events that are happening on the WAF. For example, we have amount of traffic, uh, top talkers and uh, violations that recently happened. So this means that template contains all required tools to operate WAF. So you can configure, you don't need to spend time on data plane management and you can always observe what's going on. Yeah, and I also like the fact that all of this is within the AWS ecosystem. There aren't like third party, you know, complex things that you have to worry about. Everything is built in. Um, people that are, or companies, organizations that are using AWS are using those native services. Easy for them to go and get started. Um, and once again, uh, appreciate this full demo. I wonder if you can just, again, show us the uh, starting point, which is the project GitHub repository, where you can go and get started. Getting started in process is super simple. The only what you need to do, open up the repository, Scroll a little bit down and click one button, launch stack, and the process will start for you. Excellent. So I can take this if I wanted to, I can I guess I can modify the template to fit my needs. And of course, we want people to commit to this project as well and contribute. 
Yeah, of course, it's a community project so far, and uh, everyone who wants to use it, they are free to do so. And everyone who wants to configure, they are always welcome. Thank you, Mikhail. I appreciate your time on this and hope to get some more updates when you have some additional features and some additional providers set up. Talk soon. Bye.